Well, society should not decide individual human consciousness. Human consciousness should shape the society. This is only possible. Right now, human beings have become slaves of the social structures. Not understanding or completely forgetting, all social structures were made for human well-being. The possibility of human consciousness determining the social structure will only happen when you take charge of your karma, that is, your thought process, your emotion, your energetic activity, and of course your physical action, which is a consequence of these three. If these things are completely conscious, then you will definitely craft a society based on human consciousness. But if we do not take charge of our karmic activity, if we do not take charge of the karmic process, if we do not take charge of the karmic imprints which are there within us, then society will shape individual human beings. That is a tragedy because society is not a conscious process. Society is an amalgamation of <laughs> a whole lot of unconscious activity, randomly done, accidentally done, different times of history, different things happen in a given society. What you call a society, what you call as today's civilization is the mess that they did yesterday is today's society. The mess that we do today is tomorrow's society. This is not the way to shape our societies. If we want our societies to be an atmosphere where individual human beings can reach their highest possible possibilities, if we want a society, if we want a social structure where it will nurture individual human beings to reach to their highest potential, then it's very, very important. Social structures that we create are a consequence of human consciousness, not the other way around.